What? Yeah, Miley Cyrus. Miley is famous. <laughs> but you know, it sounds similar to Bruno Mars. So I've been talking to my friends about creating content on YouTube. I used to watch so many vlogs talking about their small businesses, showing how they work, and I've always wanted to do something like that. But at the time when I started my business, there was really not much to do, even though I was working pretty hard every single day. So for my first vlog debut, I really wanna do a little nice studio tour because I work in this very nice, cozy space in my house. And also show you guys how I pack orders and operate my business. And these are the orders for this week. Actually, not this week. Uh, for the past three days. I sent a batch on Tuesday, uh, but this is for the remaining. Today is a Friday, and it seems like I have to print more labels because somebody just ordered. This is like my favorite notification ever. I don't know if you can read it. <laughs> it's not focusing. Okay, basically it says shop notice. You have an order. Please check it, whatever. So let's get on with the tour before it gets dark because it's 5 p.m. and I decide to vlog at this time. All right, so when you walk in my studio, you will first see this little area right here. This is my little coffee station. So my mom actually got me this plant yesterday. Very fucking cute. And I need to switch that out. I need to put that in storage. That was my Christmas decor. And then I have this really nice coffee machine. Um, and you just put the capsules in there. I got a couple here. I need to buy more, but this is my favorite, the caramel macchiato. But nothing beats the toffee not latte. That one's the best. Next to the coffee station, this is where I work. I pack and make jewelry and answer customers. Literally everything right here. It's a really nice big desk that I got in IKEA, and it's black. I fucking love black. Like if you don't know me, I love black. Like it's my favorite color. I love it. And right next to my desk, this is my stock and my packaging stations so i literally labeled everything i bought these black baskets and they're labeled so it's easier to pack this is where i store all my packaging supplies for jewelry and more storage space because storage is super important Guys, it's the next day. I decided to film today because yesterday it was getting dark. But as you can see over here, I got a couple of orders that's been organized in these black baskets. Um, this is how I organize it. Let's go because we got some fucking work to do. I want to share this small business prod moment. I finally got myself a big thermal printer right here. I usually use this one. Uh, the very start of my business. It was doing its job. This is actually what I've always wanted, like from the very start, but it was pretty expensive but i finally can save up and i got myself one and i'm so proud this printer right here is a beast all right so these are all my orders for today i have i think one more uh, this is how i organize it there was this one time where i switched someone's order and that made me so fucking mad because first of all that was a loss of money because i'm not gonna make them send me back the item like i was the one who made a mistake so after that i've started developing this very specific system of organizing my orders put them in these black containers these are actually like food containers that they sell in the grocery store i just bought them in bulk and i use them for my orders because like i'm gonna reuse them anyways like pretty good and it's pretty it's a pretty nice size you know all right so let's look at this one for example so this customer ordered two things um and the way i know is i would print their shipping label which i'm not going to show because it's their address and mine but i would write their name on top and then the products that they ordered and then i have the thank you card and sticker look how nice the sticker is guys i designed this and i'm going to design new ones every single year so on the bottom it says 2023 um and i drew this myself so what do you guys think so this is just how i organize everything and it's been very easy this way pretty much guaranteed no fuck ups and then i just grab these boxes at the stock area and i put them in the basket and then move on to the next order and i do that for every single one of them as you guys know it's almost valentine's day and i designed these limited valentine's day cards and they're actually sized perfectly so that it can be inserted into these jewelry boxes so when you open them you see the card it's, it's pretty neat So a couple more orders later. I think this is the most I've ever sent in one batch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I've never sent thirteen at once. Damn. Guys, look at that. This is 
probably by far the largest batch I've ever sent or that I'm about to send. This is like 13, 14 orders. Holy shit. All right, let's stop wasting time and go shit these out. <laughs> 